faith-based housing shelter is helping change lives on the North Strand. It's positively Carolina. News 13's Adriana Lawrence spoke with the shelter president about the impact that they've already had on the community and what they hope to have in the future. North Strand Housing Shelter is located in between Longs and Loris. It helps people looking for both long-term and short-term housing. We just felt led to do something about it, although we didn't know what to do. Dana Black and her husband planned to retire back in 2010, but after they heard about the homeless population in the North Strand area, they decided to open a shelter later that year. Dana Black, the president and executive director for North Strand Housing, says their goal is to help people find jobs, a place to live, and create a family-oriented atmosphere. And we want them to go back into the community working, renting places, uh, getting gas at the gas station, you know, be absorbed back into the community because that's what it's all about. They serve veterans, families with children, and individuals. Right now, they have two buildings, one for emergency short-term stays and one transitional for longer stays. Between the two, they can serve up to 30 people at a time. Black says in 2022, they helped 175 people but got more than 1,000 calls. They also have a licensed counselor and social worker. If you want to change your life, you can. But you've got to want to change your life. All the help in the world, if you're just going to be lazy and sit back, isn't going to change. It will not help you. Black says they are almost completely donation-based and are grateful for those who contribute. She told me they recently bought 12 acres to expand on. She envisions multiple housing units, a youth resource center, a car repair center, and many more resources to offer those in need. We're just looking forward to expanding in a way that we think will help the community. We're very community oriented. They support us. We want to support them. Black says they plan to rebrand later this year and open their new shelter in coming years. You can visit our website at WBTW.com to find out how to donate to help the shelter. In Horry County, Adrian Lawrence, News 13.